Hey, what's up? This is uh, the first Paperworks video. We'll see how it goes. I um, put on this Electric Wizard Legalized Drugs and Murder because it came with a terrorize, Terrorizer uh, magazine. Rest in peace. It's no longer here anymore. These videos will be more about print than about music in, uh, in a sense, but it's all music. Um, I had stumbled and bumbled so long that the tape's done, so now we're moving over to Perverted Ceremony Witchcraft. Um, I'll immediately turn down a bit. Uh, they're split from last year on uh, Nuclear War Now. There you go. Kind of a new corner. I debuted it some time ago, if you care. What spawned this is, I, I'm, I don't even remember, remember what spawned this. Um, just because I was going through the flyers, I guess, and then I pulled out some books from the shelf uh, because you know you need to read something, I guess. And um, if you have a lot of books that you haven't read or read, it um, yeah, some interesting stuff comes up. Plus, we kind of have this: we stay out of contact with the neighbors, but the neighbors are. This is one big plot, I would say. There are no barriers, so uh, we. Yeah, Frank's base is there. I have his book. Um, he has a book of mine or a CD of mine, so we share those things, uh, which is actually good. And a yard, which is also good. Um, there is in here, COVID, house becomes a zone, getting rid of doors soon. So yeah, I've become a new man. I listen to Iron Maiden now. So yeah, it's all about paper. It's all about books. It's probably all about me, but you know, what else is more? Uh, for Pazuzu, who didn't like the, uh, I think it's Pazuzu, who didn't like all the Marty videos um, from my past, or he was just fed up with it. Uh, this won't be better, but I promise you asked for a room tour, so I'll do that. Uh, I'll do this one, then do a room tour. Maybe, no promises. First up, The History of 8000 Hardcore by Hans Gebeke. Um, I talked about in some of those Marty videos, I think the middle one. I talked about good life and the rise of the 8,000 hardcore scene in the northeast south west side of Belgium. We're the east side. We have Wooten. So yeah, this is the book Hans from Liar and Nations on Fire and from yeah from Belgian hardcore it did. I didn't like the documentary they did. It was too short. It was too. I don't know, I I kind of miss the documentary, there, there was more extras, I guess, whatever. This is good, this is a cool book. Uh, this is, like I said, Frank's copy, my neighbor, but like we have one big library, so why buy it again? Uh, limited to 500, 210, this is, and this is actually a very cool book. Uh, there are a lot of punk and hardcore books, but this feels, for us, this feels very special because it's, yeah. It's um, how we grew up, uh, whether you went to shows or didn't go to shows. I don't know if it's that if that is relevant. Everybody knows the skateboards, um, skateboard tour van window story. I just saw it drive by. There you go. So that's one of the stories. Um, I think I saw Catarsis, a bit of Catarsis in here, so they go wide. It's not, it's not just their scene, it's their scene and what their scene became uh, in in bigger picture for hardcore because yeah a lot of metalcore um, is uh, influenced by stuff like this because Congress for example was uh, yeah a bit more of a metal band I would say the first uh, liar EP is more metal than hardcore but yeah that's because if you see the documentary or maybe I read it in this book already Hans was into yeah, second wave, black metal, uh, and I think a lot of guys are. There's a UJ picture from a live show where he's painted like Abbott, so. This scene runs deep uh, in its words. This is very worth reading and picking up. It reads like a, I mean, it's nothing you take to the toilet, but it is, uh, it reads very fast. But it deserves more respect than this. Just found UJ. Sick with his Hellhammer shirt. What a beast. Okay, so the first one um, kinda is the first thing I grabbed. 
and there is some stuff because I was um, getting stuff from upstairs in the, in the closets that I stuffed uh, downstairs and to sort out what is really worth getting into the collection or just father. There are three cases of um, magazines, which I'm not going to go through all magazines, uh, but just the highlights. There is a Terrorizer Black Metal issue, there's a lot of Revolver stuff, but I'm not going to talk about too many magazines, they just, when they have a link with the books, or we'll see. So this is kind of a test run. Uh, what spawned this was a grab out of the, yeah, out of the bag, I should have timed this. Um, oh my god. This is slanted, uh, the, the magazine, I should say, um, or the periodical. It's kind of a thick magazine book. I bought it in a magazine store, so it has to be. What this is, is a typography magazine that um, yeah, was released, I don't know, it says here 2010 in spring, so I believe it. <coughs> so this, if I believe that date, and if I believe what's in here, or I what I can see is in here is that I knew about black metal in 2010 because why else would I buy a typography magazine? I mean, I went to art school, but I'm not that kind of guy. Although I am because it deals in logos um, or it's about a bit of black metal. Now there is some shit music in here. The first thing I see, there was, Foo Fighters was the first thing, so. But the Bleeding True, one of their later things, is, is a reference point just for how it looks. I think there's Wolf Mother, there is Devil Driver, Norma Jean, so they start a bit hardcore-ish, hardcore-y. Then you go into these kind of things, you know, like German bolt lettering. Um, this one particularly I like, the Germans. There's a band called the Germans that should have uh, that logo. And then it goes into, yeah, more typography shits. And then one of the things that I noticed or maybe that's why I picked it up is because after a lot of typography it uh, handles the beat the best the book the true Norwegian black metal uh, which these images made a lot of yeah they, they spoke to me so I can't imagine not pursuing that and it's around the same time it's, it's the Gorgoral black mass in 2008 2009 that I looked at and then this and you know so that's why I kept it it's you know a cornerstone for me, I guess. Typography, logo stuff. It's nothing much in here. So, yeah, that's the kickoff. Uh, then we have a newspaper. Have a drink first. Cheers. We have a newspaper from Iceland. Now I showed in the last Marty video. Sorry, last mention. I showed the uh, Icelandic crew photo. I didn't. Uh, talk about the photographer which does a hell of a great job or did a hell of a great job um, yeah filming them and documenting them in their first few years seems to have fallen off a bit although I think if they kept it up they could do a it's a black and white book the previous one so maybe a color book with some new pictures that would be amazing I got this from Desiree <coughs> from uh, Leibar Records she got it from me because she got in touch with those guys, or she was there in Iceland, I think, for a festival. If not from, or whatever called. I for all. Um, she and her husband, Manuel, uh, the nuns who, did, who does great artwork for Devil's Blood, for himself, for a ton of shit. Uh, she posted it on, I don't know, Facebook, Instagram, that she had this, and she uh, arranged for me to have it. It is the article in the Reykjavik Grapevine Iceland Life Travel and I'm not even sure, not sure what that means. Um, so yeah, there's a big article, Welcome to the Circle, Meet the Men Behind Iceland's Thriving Black Metal Scene. We are now into the witchcraft side. Um, there is mention of all the bands, of course, Mr. Ming, Nadra, Sinmara, Aum, Svartidauri, Wormlust and Manvaira. Manvaira. Now, very, thank you very much to Desiree and um, Manuel for getting this to me. The photographer, it would be nice to find the photographer. It should be in the front. Photos by Hafstein Vidar, I think. And there is the 
there was an extra gazette, if you will, that had um, one more mention of Black Metal, A Beginner's Guide, uh, which is, I think, Sinmara. Which is great that that's just, you know, a free magazine that has those pictures, but they are quality pictures. I don't have the book, um, which is a mistake on my part, but alas. Then, another newspaper article. This is the mail. This came from J. Uh, A. Yeah, J. A. Um, and he sent me this. I don't know if he wants this known, but I guess it doesn't matter. He gave me a heart. There we go. And it should be uh, on the other side. It said you should be mild to yourself, but in Dutch. Now, if you know, you know. You will know. I guess. This is the NRC weekend from 11 May and Sunday 12 May 2019 and there's an article in here that I haven't read and it's about um, the friendliest giant of black metal, Michiel Eignach. It is no coincidence that I'm finding these things. Um, my man died two year, uh, one year ago. Uh, one year and two days, maybe. Smack in the middle of road run, so I haven't read this one. I'll read it when I'm good and ready. Cheers, my man. Cheers. It's water, but... Then, Black Gang Green Productions. Um, I put this one up as a promo for Paperworks, um, and a lot of reaction came for this, like, uh, not what is that, but it looks cool, so... I don't know. Um, so yeah, this is a black envelope that I stole at work uh, with a photocopied logo cutout that I did myself. It's, you can see it's very professional. Um, it folds open like so. And what it is, is uh, the black gangrene abysmal despair zines printed out by myself. It's kind of sad, but whatever. Um, so I didn't have these. I imagine they came with uh, very early orders. I don't know. There's 2016 on here, which seems which seems early um, for me to get into that at that time. It seems a bit later, maybe 2017, mid. I don't know when I discovered it. Whatever. So yeah, it's obscure Tatum off the bat. It's Reiko Wechsel, so that's cool. Mons Veneris, uh, the Black Plague Circle, of course. The Verma Fire Command. Commando, uh, then my absolute, one of my absolute favorite black metal pictures. I was going to do something with this because this is too beautiful. Pearl Fire Commando picture. Can't read that. There's Obscuritatum, then Dismal Despair 2. It has Black Salise. Then it has. Code plot or what's this, what's that band? Whatever. Faceless entity on the back. Alter Productions commercial. Flat Tipes, which I am sad to announce. I have to listen to a bit more. Mons Veneris. Not that I don't want that. Not that not that I don't like it, but it's just one of the things I didn't get into. Visible this despair tree with again uh, Vlad Davis, that witch in her tomb, which has a slight Utatec link, I think. Maybe um, McCoy did the artwork. I don't know what that is. Ordo Omega Absolutae. Absolute. So, yeah, there's a lot of shit in here. Life reports. Um, in that flesh, Mons Veneris. Then there is. This sulfur ignites, and the last thing is a promo. Monster Veneris, excellent stuff. Uh, some of the raw shit from Portugal that I can, like Fetala. I still don't know what to make of that. I still don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. But Monster Veneris is just raw. Fetala is crazy, like um, crazy. Like um, Hand of Glory, that's another band. I don't know. There's a new one coming out, but I don't know. Uh, the Horlane, I'm going to skip this one. Uh, 
there's something about black, oh, black metal and nature. I always thought this was the, what's that other zine? There's a green one that came out into the woods or into the forest. Something in the forest. It's not dead, so. The boss, bo so that's cool. Um, then, oh, switch these out. This is uh, the book we talked about, True Norwegian Black Metal by Peter Beste. Uh, I didn't get the luxurious version with the print. Uh, I was too late, like always. So I know. Uh, but yeah, this is a very cool photo booklet um, portraying the later period in second wave black metal, I would say, because this is uh, Gorgorod, uh, Carpathian Forest, Urtegal, I think, is in here. Uh, a lot of Gal stuff, a lot of fat lunatic stuff. But yeah, Peter Beston. Pigs vomit, but also very cool nature pigs. Uh, this one is very cool. I think that's uh, the guy from Gold World. What's his name? Uh, white face, black cross. There we go. There is a uh, fold out. Of course, it has the epilogue, this um, Norwegian black metal. Very cool pictures. There was one in here that I haven't seen, but. Am I going to find just that one? Of course not. There's some Slayer magazine stuff in here. Um, so yeah. A very cool book. Oh, these maybe. These are, the, these are pictures from burning churches, but... This is Oscar, I know that, but I don't know what the rest is. I know. It's weird that these are in here, because they seem so beautiful. They're not press pictures. There's the Kerrang article in here that blew that whole scene up. Nationwide and, na no, more than nationwide, worldwide. Um, and then there's this. There is no sun without shadow and it is essential to know the night. But, oh, that sucks. By Albert Camus. Which is incredible. Great picture. Very um, subversive. I think that's the word, uh, very offensive actually, maybe to some people still. Um, church, where is your church now? Hmm? Don't pray with your hands. Help or wash. The last thing I have is uh, I went to Documenta seven million years ago in Kassel and um, this was a free promotional thing they had for I think it's when the order came out on DVD, maybe, or something like that. Uh, it is a bit more relevant or more nice than a promo folder because this is Matthew Barney's Cream Monster uh, Tree. Yeah, I guess that's or There were a few things that, um, there were a few copies of this, but other artists did this and he just did this one. So these are images from that movie uh, that is a essentially a third part of a five-part movie, I think that is about 12 hours. Uh, this is all filmed in, at the Guggenheim in uh, New York uh, and it has a fucking weird scene with Agnostic Front and Murphy's Law. Is Vinny on here? He should be, right? Yeah, there he is. Vinny fucking Stigma. Of course the rest is on there, but... Fuck, oh, that's the first time I noticed that. It has a cheetah lady, Amy Mullins, and I always had the intention of framing these. It had the Five Points Fellowship, but I don't know what that is. I think the art piece, and then there's Richard Serra, one of my all-time favorite artists. And Matthew Barney as well. And then there's one more with the prosthetic legs, which I guess is what I do for a living. So yeah, it's interval. I have two of these. So if you or into Matthew Barney and you would like to frame these or whatever. No. Maybe we can trade. Trade seems to be the new thing because I'm not buying shit. I, uh, I'm going to buy something from very local from you all, but that's about it. Witchcraft! I hope this shit doesn't cut out. Um, these are going to be very fast and loose, but I hope tomorrow will um, something will drop in the mail and then we'll go into Wacht, wacht. Um, paperwork can be 
everything, I guess, because I have a lot of paper. So yeah, that's the first one. I hope you like it. If you don't, you can suck my dick. <laughs>